Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Hourglass. Welcome if you are new. All right, so you guys know it's Divine Feminine Fridays, and we're going to take a look at very briefly because I know we have karmic cross watchers that try to imitate the Divine Feminine through tarot readings online. And you're not going to get all of that here. <laughs> you're not going to get all the ins and outs of the Divine Feminine here. But so we're going to do a very brief um, touch on what the Divine Feminine may be feeling at this time. And uh, let's see if we could unleash or unpack any type of inspiration, ideas, anything that's uplifting and encouraging, right? Insights on here. So let's start. This is a new deck for me. So I'm going to read it intuitively and I'm going to honor um, the book's um, definition as well. The, the book that came with this deck, it's written in a kind of like a poem riddle type of description. So this is why I'm going to read it intuitively as open as I can. All decks has been cleared and charged. All right, so let's begin again. This is a general uh, reading of the Divine Feminine, so not all messages are going to apply. So take what does and leave what doesn't. Time and energy is fluid, you guys. So let's begin. Okay, you guys, so I have been seeing the word responsibility in my uh, mind's eye. I don't know if that has anything to do with the Divine Feminine's energy right now, but I'm definitely seeing the word responsibility. All right, so um, let's see. Beloved, what is the energy update of the Divine Feminine? How is the Divine Feminine feeling on their journey at this moment again divine feminine is an energy you could be a male or a female genders could flip flop all right tell me beloved what is the energy of the divine feminines at this current moment all right so we have fated to suffer let's get one more card I feel like a lot of you are being tempted um, to go back to a situation that you have been suffering in. You're very tempted to do so. Bride in a cage. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have sacrifice. All right. So let's see what that says. And then we could begin. I'm going to go into some terror as well, you guys. Just to give us a little bit more detail. Okay, so this is a stage. This is a card of depression. All right. So um, it says, feeling confined into a script, forced by others, and never really fought, heading towards a destination of pain. Oh, wow. So it's like, what I'm picking up is some of you divine feminines may be tempted to go back to an old way of doing things. This could definitely have a lot to do with your divine masculine, but I'm definitely sensing that you're being tempted to actually go back to an old way of doing things that brought you nothing but pain and poison is what I'm feeling with the apple hair. I feel like somebody may be selling you dreams as well and you may be tempted to take it even though you know it's not um, good for you. And it's almost like you're not seeing another way or another path of getting what you want. So we have bride in a cage. Interesting. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> so it says bride in a cage. Tomorrow will, will be the right moment. Tomorrow will be better, even if today is hell. Another card of denial. <clears throat> so um, you may be keeping yourself stagnant or stuck in a stage, a position, a phase in life because um, 
you're not really seeing any other way to go about doing things i definitely feel like um someone definitely changed their character overall or they changed the way how they're doing things because we see like a lot of uh garments hair clothes even this wedding dress stands out to me some of you may be married possibly to uh, a soulmate a karmic or even to your divine masculine and it's kind of like of a difficult situation or a rough patch right now where you feel very confined to someone else's way of doing things, right? And you know it brings you pain, it brings you suffering, it brings you poison. We could see here that this beautiful wedding dress is um, topped off with a uh, detached skull hair. So it's almost like you're not um, fully, you're not being fulfilled in this situation as well. I feel like a lot of things are out of place. And, um, from the outside, it looks beautiful. It's, it looked beautiful on paper, but, um, is the price too high? Is this worth it? Is what I'm getting paired with the sacrifice card. That's a number seven. It's like you're waiting for things to change, but it's almost like, you know, it's not going to happen right now. And you're tempted to, um, fall in line with somebody else's planned or the way how they see things which is not really beneficial for you this is why we have the the bride in the cage um i keep seeing poison with the skull and the apple so it's like somebody may be poisoning um your intuition or you yourself may be poisoning your intuition not listening to it because things seem um great or this talking this script seems um like a fairy tale but you know deep inside you're gonna suffer it's 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 not gonna mean you well at the end maybe you feel pressured to 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 take this way because you don't see another way so sacrifice it's a stage of anger okay so i definitely feel like um you don't want to sacrifice anymore. Again, the word responsibility comes up again. You want you want this person or you want things to be um, more honest or level-headed. With the sacrifice, I feel like um, you're very serious as well. I, I feel like a, a, I'm very serious about taking responsibility. I'm very serious that you are taking your response. You're doing what's responsible here. You're doing the honest things or you want to be very honest. Hey, you want things to be more honest and level headed as well. All right. So it says, even if I have to break apart as long as it serves a purpose. Yeah. So it's like, um, you're willing to sacrifice your hopes and dreams. You're willing to cut the chains off of anything that's holding you back if it means being more responsible and pushing you towards your life purpose or something that's very meaningful, I feel like you have a decision to make or you do have two different paths that you could take. You're not, it's like I'm, I'm hearing don't limit yourself to listen to what this person is proposing, but know that you have two different choices. Know that life is always a two way of choices. Definitely feel like you're very damn serious about this shit. Is the price worth it? Is the price too high? Is the price of pain um, too high for me to pay to stay in this fairy tale? To stay into something that looks good on the outside, but it's really harmful for me in the inside. It's harmful to my health. I feel like you're very guarded. You're guarding yourself right now. You're protecting your energy as well. And that's because you want freedom you want to be free in expressing yourself maybe this relationship that you're into is very confined in it's very limited it's very restricted and you're you're very serious about cutting shit loose you're very serious about getting to the the, the point the purpose the honesty here and somebody's tempting you whether it's your divine masculine or not somebody's definitely tempting you you guys i'm hesitating on what deck to use next i'm being drawn to four different decks here let's get some tarot let's do some tarot so um yeah definitely feeling like 
underneath all the lavish life and all the sweet things and somebody somebody's definitely tempting you or they're going to be tempting you with something that sounds um yummy or delicious but is it a trap to keep you holding on to keep you lingering what is the price is it worth it hey is this worth what is what is the point hey what's the purpose hey with the sacrifice card showing up a sense of anger you know, somebody's not taking you serious or somebody's... This could also be your divine masculine, you guys. Take it how it resonates. Your divine masculine may not be taking you very seriously right now. And they may be doing things to tempt you or provoke you. Those of you that are blocked or have your divine masculine that's blocked, I definitely feel like you're still um, trapped. You still feel trapped even though you feel like it's over or you have no way of communicating. Their energy still lingers with yours. And that's because um, the, the type of deception that happened. It's like this person may, this divine masculine, whoever it may be, karmic, this person may have love bombed you in the beginning, sold you some type of illusion and kind of have you trapped there now. And you're, you're trying to figure out if I should go back. Because of the um the energy, you feel this, you feel your divine masculine's energy so strong. Tell me more about fated to suffer. The Hierophant. This is some Taurus energy. Doesn't have to be. Um, I definitely feel like there are two choices here. All right, I saw that in the Hierophant uh, card here. If I could get it up. We have two different orbs here. So I definitely feel with two candles, I definitely feel like it's two ways that you could go about doing this. Um, I feel like this person is very persistent in tempting you, whether it's they're doing things to provoke you, they're posting things subliminally online, or um, maybe they're sending you uh, simple texts and not replying, or they may strike up a conversation and disappear. I definitely feel like this is all tactics. And um, this person, this divine masculine, whoever you may be dealing with, your person, I'm going to say your person because a lot of the divine feminines are not really in communication or connection with their DMs. They are um, in karmics relationship with soulmates or karmics, all right? So I'm definitely feeling that... Um, Somebody's, it's like somebody's abusing their wisdom here to tempt the divine feminine. Oh, this is, this is not cool. Or this may be even your energy as well, divine feminine. You may be uh, abusing your wisdom here. Your knowledge that you know about the twin flame. You may be abusing it to some extent. Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. All right. So this is all about, um, to me, it says poverty minded. Someone is not wanting to um, let go of some issues here. This could also be about money. So some of you may be in a situation with money where you do not want to let go because of a fear of being poor or feeling left behind. So um, somewhat, some of you may be holding on to what your divine masculine is giving you which may be crumbs at this time i i don't feel like they're fully available to you and you're still trying to hold on to whatever breadcrumbs that they're giving you but you still feel left out and i i see in two different faces is okay so we have two different faces but it's the same expression it's like that look on the side like um Making sure that things fall into plan or go as according. And then we have two different individuals with the same expression as well as being left behind, as being um, alone. So someone may have gotten married or you may have gotten married and somebody definitely feels left out. They're holding on to a memory of what was or the energy that you guys shared so they are whole this person you know your divine masculine may be thinking about you a lot and this is why you're feeling their energy so even though they put on a show like because i definitely feel that with the bride in the cage putting on a show like 
I'm moving on with my life. Some of you may be getting married. This divine masculine may be getting married, but they're still holding on to your energy, feeling left behind, feeling like um, they have to hold on to someone for money. I feel like this person, whoever this resonates with, because this is about how the divine feminine is feeling, right? I feel like some of you feel very left out and you're holding on to a lot of the memories, hey? And that's because you are feeling the energy of your DM because they're also thinking about you also. So it's like, even though this person may be married or abused their power with you, just both of you may be still holding on to this energy. Six of Pentacles. It's a lot of money. So this may be in the physical. I feel like, um, again, I'm, I'm feeling like you are being tempted to go back into a routine with your DM. It's like, you know, this person may be married or given to more than one person or they have to, they're obligated to give to other people, maybe children, um, a business, an ex-lover. They may even be married. It's like, you know, that they may be given to two or more people, but you're tempted to go back to that because you're holding on to some type of memory because you feel left out. And I feel like that's the only reason why you feel like that. It's because you're feeling left out. You feel left behind. You're feeling the lack of this divine masculine. Give me some more. Nine of Wands. And it came out right there. Yeah. You're wounded. You're wounded. This is the Wounded Warriors card. So it's like you're wounded. But you're still contemplating if you should give it a try. Despite of what you may comment. Oh, I forgot about him. I'm not interested. He's not meant for me. I'm going to leave him. But in the, the underlying truth is that you really want to give it another shot. Despite of them having others to give to. Some of you may be holding on to the idea of getting married to your divine masculine even though they have ghosted you or left you um, behind. You're still holding on to that um, dream there. Again, this video is not going to be for everyone. It's a very triggering video. Again, I do not sugarcoat anything on here. Five of Pentacles could also mean a sickness or poison. I did feel that in these both cards. It's like, this is messing with your health as well. This lack this lack i do feel like this person may be very um selfish as well so this divine masculine may be selfish or you may be very selfish with your energy right now it's like what else can i try some of you may be texting or calling with no replies or no answers and it's messing with your health all right you're starting to feel like really um we have denial and then we have angry, anger. So we have the king of cups with the high priestess. Yeah. So I definitely feel like um, both of you are not speaking or both is like in silence right now. Some, or is they're not explaining their emotions. And it's like, you're very, you're, you're feeling like they're not taking you serious. Like they're not taking this spiritual connection serious. Somebody's being very mysterious. Hey. Again, this could be your energy or your divine masculine's energy. Somebody's definitely hiding a secret here. Um, you could be, a th again, I'm getting a lot of third parties. You know, the high priestess with the three of pentacles. With the, um, sorry, I thought I was the three of pentacles. But we have three people in this uh, card. And it's almost feeling like somebody's a secret here. Or somebody's having a secret affair. Somebody wants to have a secret rendezvous, all right? And this is something that they're not telling you because maybe they think you're that you would not go for it because you already been there. See, again, this card, Fated to Suffer, talks about um, going along with somebody else's script, all right? Is it worth it? 
Is it worth it with the price tag on that wedding dress? Is it worth it? Somebody's married here. Somebody's already taken. This is why they're very unavailable, especially in their emotions. Let me see. We have temperance wanted to spit out. This is Sagittarius. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't go over the um, the signs here, right? So we have Taurus. We have some Sagittarius energy. Four of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. A lot of earthy energy. This could also mean that this is happening in the physical. This is not something that's energetic or spiritual. It's happening in the physical. That could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or Capricorn. High Priestess energy could also be a Cancer or a Taurus with the King of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. So the Temperance card wanted to show up, right? And I'm definitely feeling like um, there's a pause here. Someone is healing, either you or this Divine Masculine, but somebody's healing or purging out some stuff here, but there's a temptation to want to go back to a routine of possibly sneaking around. This could be your divine masculine's energy that they're projecting onto you. Um, because this is actually how the divine feminine is doing, right? You could also be taking on this king of cups energy where you're keeping your emotions under control. You're being more mysterious. You're being more um, secretive. And it's not that it's in a malicious way. I'm just feeling like you want to protect yourself because we have this sacrifice card here. Wanting, getting serious about yourself as well. With the temperance, it's all about purging and healing. So you could... Um, gather that strength to get on that journey again you're purifying your energy so it's like you feel at times that you want to break and go back to a routine of maybe secretly running around with each other but it caused a lot of pain a lot of wounds it caused suffering um it caused a poison to your health for some of you you may have contracted an illness here from your divine masculine some of you may um, have gone very in a very saddened state where you uh, isolate yourself from help, from assistance, from even from your friends. Some of you may have stopped going to church um, as well. Or you may be going to church to confide in a pastor. Someone is seeking forgiveness here as well. I feel a lot of temptations here, you guys. I don't know what's that about, but I'm definitely feeling like temptations. We have the magician on the sacrifice. Now, um, for the head of the reading, again, this is a divine feminine update. So I'm definitely feeling like you're gathering your strength. You're using your five senses when it comes to protecting yourself against could possibly be your divine masculine, a karmic, a karmic soulmate. But again, this is a twin flame journey. Even though it's your divine masculine, your twin lover, your twin flame, you could also be experiencing karmic cycles where you guys need to learn a lesson. Hey, all right. You guys may be teaching things to each other in a karmic way. All right. Definitely feeling like you're using your fight. You're using your senses and you're trusting your intuition. You're knowing that you have what it takes all right, and you're willing to sacrifice this this union, this connection, if it means protecting yourself from any type of pain and suffering. Because, again, you know the feeling of being left out. All right, you know the feeling of um, lacks as well, and not wanting to return to that. It's like you're very serious about um, reciprocation. As well, about giving and taking. You're very uh, concerned about um, being fair as well, having some type of balance. Again, some of this is not going to resonate with every divine feminine, but I'm definitely feeling like some of you are getting to the point. And this may be a tactic from your divine masculine putting you on ice or putting this connection on ice so you could be very desperate or tempted to take whatever they're giving you. Again, abusing of the power, abusing of um, the wisdom here. 
So let's get some um let's get some um inspiration from divine doors. This is another new deck. I am working on you guys' requests for what you may, what you want to do readings about, all right? I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of temptation here. And um, it's almost like your guides, your spiritual team is warning you to be patient. It's almost like in the back of your mind or your higher self is telling you, to be patient so you could see the truth about this person. To t you don't have to rush in and make a decision. You don't have to uh, feel the need to um, give in, all right? Just be patient because something is working out. Hey, um, I do feel like it's your guardians that's protecting you. We have with the sacrifice. Um, yeah, I feel like... You have guidance, you have protection, you have assistance to please call on them, whether it's your friends, your families, your ancestors, the, um, the Almighty Most High, whoever gives you sound, positive um, advice or assistance, you have them around. Go ahead and use your intuition with a high priestess. High priestess usually means trust your intuition, trust what you see. We have a lot of waterfalls here as well that's sticking out to me. That also is a symbolism for me that um, there has been a series of very devastating um, setbacks and disappointments. But it was orchestrated to teach you wisdom here with the Hierophant and the High Priestess. It was orchestrated for you to trust your own intuition by loving on yourself more. So you had to go through a series of devastating disappointments, delays, setbacks to teach you wisdom, to trust your intuition so you don't be put back in a position to suffer. It says, offerings. Abundance lies in the heart that allows, share more than expected and see love come around. Abundance lies in the heart that allows Share more than expected and see love come around. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So what I'm gathering from this door is, um, and then we have the six of pentacles, right? So it's almost like, I wouldn't say to share more with your divine masculine because for some of you divine feminines, you have been very given, but maybe you need to give to others, all right? Maybe you need to expand um, your charity, your charity energy, all right? Maybe you need to do some charity work at your church or um, in a spiritual group to help your spirituality. Maybe you're given to a divine masculine that's not ready to give you because of a power, a poverty mindset, because of past hurts, or because they really don't know what to give a person like you. So it's almost like to meditate. Again, trust your intuition. We have whatever this thing is. I guess it's a Buddha. And it's all about meditation. Meditation, you find the answers. To share more than expected and see love come around. Maybe you need to share your story. Maybe you need to open up. Again, I feel like it's a spiritual group or a church group as well. Some type of group where you could have this safe haven to, you know, express yourself. I feel like, you know, you're going to get what you, what you give as well. With that card. I feel like you have more than enough to hear with the magician and the sacrifice. You need to start like giving. Tell me more. Maybe you're giving too much to this divine masculine and it's making you very angry. And it could also um, make you susceptible. Successible? Accessible? It may open you up to some type of revenge as well. So we have, it's a beautiful door. We have deeper. 
You're not finished. You are not yet done. Dig deeper and deeper. The best is to come. Hold on, hold on, pass this on. Hold on, hold on with the temperance. Be patient, be patient. Dig deeper. In meditations, you find the answer. Dig deeper, trust what you see, trust your intuition. All right, so that is what I have for the Divine Feminine Energy Update. I hope that this gave you some type of insight, inspiration, or even some type of idea that uplifts you up today and for your weekend. Again, this was Divine Feminine Friday. <laughs> and also two new deck alerts uh, if you guys catched on. And again, um, thank you guys for uh, your donation, your energy ex exchanges, your emails. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm working on a couple readings at the moment. Uh, so excuse me if I have not replied to any of your emails. Um, but I do have to post online as well for those that are following for anything that, um, you know, anything that they subscribe to. So thank you guys for listening. Chat to you later. Ciao.